If you can't find the fixture that you're looking for when you're going to patch a new light, there are a number of great options available via the generic fixtures in the light chart. Let's explore them. To do that, we're going to go to our three dot menu, into our patch, and then to add fixtures. Under G and the manufacturer generic, we're going to find a number of different fixtures that we can use to control different kinds of lights that may not be in the regular fixture library. Some examples of these would be uh, dimmers, various LED lights, etc. And there's really a lot in here. And so I want to go over these because we get a lot of questions asking how to find certain fixtures. And a lot of those answers can be found within these generic profiles. Looking at the first options here under one, two, three, we have the single channel HTP and LTP modes. This is perfect for dimmers or for LED fixtures that just have white that may have one channel for a just single channel unit or two channels for a 16-bit unit. We have HTP and LTP options. Now, the difference between these, though it's a little bit complicated, is that LTP means latest takes precedence. And that means that the latest cue or fader move given will take over this light and give output to the stage. With HTP, the highest cue will always take playback. Let's look at some of our other options here. As you can see, we have things like CMY engines. We have, in fact, pretty much every single option that you might see in a generic light. So you can use a single dimmer right here, and you also could pull in here and use a dimmer in a red, green, blue fixture. This would be perfect for an LED light that has a master channel first, and then a red, green, and blue channel. Scrolling through others, there are many options, but the under PQR, we see a lot of LED fixtures. If the LED fixture that you're looking for isn't found under the manufacturers above, and this can happen a lot as there are many smaller manufacturers out there, then you can simply put it into a three channel RGB, RGBA at four channels, RGBA UV, etc. You see there are so many options right here. Last but not least, we do wanna look here at our smoke. And so smoke is perfect for any hazers or foggers you may have. There are many models on the market, but truth be told, most of them only use a single or two channels. With this profile, we're able to easily control them. So next time you can't find a fixture or you're not sure where to go to control a light, pull out the manual, see if there's a simple mode. Usually for non-moving lights, you're going to be able to find a mode within the generic profiles that will control that light fully to its fullest extent within a three, four, five, seven channel mode. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and watch the rest of our videos. We'll see you there. Thanks.